How much will a relationship fulfill your existence? A lot. I'm not gonna lie. A lot. I always feel bad because I feel like I feel like <laughs> the learning experience comes at the expense of the person you're dating. Absolutely. Right? Yep. <laughs> Just like fuck. All right, Scar. I have yeah. a question for you. How much dating experience do you have? Serious experience? Aside from dating someone for like two years, mm -hmm. none. I think it was the first and last serious relationship I had. It's like a eight years ago. Mm -hmm. I've had oh. a total of three relationships, but oh. only I would only consider one of them serious. My first girlfriend, we were together for over five years, from the ages of twenty to twenty-five. We broke up in twenty sixteen. And then since then, I've been in two relationships, but they all, they both lasted like less than three months. I sometimes wonder like if only dating one girl during my quote unquote prime years, like kind of fucked over my ability to like gain more experience in dating in general, or if that shit doesn't really matter. That, but I think maybe as a guy, it's not that important. Yeah. Did you date while you were um, yes. in LCS? Mm -hmm. That was so fucking bad, by the way. Was it? I was a loser, couldn't balance my time at all. You know, it should be like a give and take. I feel like it was like a lot of take and not much give. And honestly, I was just not a good, I was not a good player. I, I actually completely feel you on that. I was super selfish, especially towards the end of the relationship. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of insecurities that I kind of projected onto her, if that makes sense. Like I was worried, like stressed about certain things about myself, but then like, I kind of like caused her more anguish because of my own insecurities. And then I think that ended up pushing her away. I don't know. It was my, she, was my, she was my first girlfriend. I was her first boyfriend. And like, I guess no, like one side is like perfect. Like it's not, it's not ever like one person's fault completely. But like yeah. at the end of the day, I think I was like a shitty boyfriend that didn't like really do anything for her as much as she did for me. And that, uh, yeah, I learned a lot after that first breakup for sure. I always feel bad because I feel like, I feel like <laughs> the learning experience comes at the expense of the person you're dating. Absolutely. Right? Yep. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck. Like, if I go back in time, I'd be like, well, maybe you should stop being a piece of shit. But it I, happens. Yeah, I think the person that I am now, she would have been happy with, if that makes sense. How important is a relationship to you? I have, let's say you think you're at a high of your life, right? Mm -hmm. For a lot of other factors. How much would a relationship fulfill your existence? A lot. I'm not gonna lie, a lot. And like, I hate saying that just because like, I am single. So it looks kind of like, I want to say it kind of looks bad, but I have been in love before. I've been in love with someone that loved me back. And like, that was in my opinion, like one of the best feelings, you know? Mm. Like reciprocated love, like mutual love. And I miss that. I do miss that, you know? And like, it kind of it kind of sucks that I don't have that anymore. And it is something that I seek, but like, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that like, I am not seeking this feeling again at the expense of me actually being with someone that's compatible with me. Does that make, that make sense? That's fair. Yeah. How do you feel about the power dynamic of being a streamer? Uh, I don't know. It's weird. I like, I want yeah, little things from every kind of relationship. Like, you know, it would be nice to date another streamer just because they understand what I'm going through, but also dating a normie is kind of nice just because they're like not in my sphere and it's like a little different, but they also can't relate to me as also. But yeah. then, um, so like in my opinion, like for me, like the happy middle ground would be like similar, something similar to like uh, Danny, right? Where like Danny is like with uh, someone who works in the space, is familiar with what streaming is, but isn't necessarily like a streamer themselves. Like I, that is like, in my opinion, ideal. He meant you'd be dating Danny. And I was I mean, like, I, dude, I would, I, would, I would fucking slam Danny, Danny so hard, dude. Yeah. Do you see, do you think he'll marry a VTuber one day? No. Honestly, I could see it, but no. Would you date a VTuber? I don't think there'd be a problem. Like, it wouldn't be a... a but like, wouldn't... you only know what they look like when you meet in person. Like, they're like particular about it. There's be no way. I feel like at some point I have to know what they look like. I can't tell how people are online easily, but if I meet them, I have to meet them in real life. No, no yeah, that makes sense. Like... When people talk about dating, right? There's like yeah. the phase where people say like, oh yeah, like we're exclusive. But and like, then you go, I just, right? but, but for, no, for me, like, I just can't ever imagine like talking to multiple girls at the same time with the prospect of going exclusive and then choosing one girl to be exclusive with. I'm like, damn, that is like, I've never been in that position before where I've talked to multiple girls at the same time and then had to choose one to be like exclusive with. Man, Does that make sense? Say, 
I, I don't I don't have that much game or whatever. Yeah, like, for me, it's just like I'm always just like talking to like one girl in the hopes that like maybe eventually we'll just like be serious, if that makes sense. Yeah. Same. Like I've never been like, oh, I'm talking to you. I have four girls on the side and like, you know, maybe it'll work out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I just. How do you people have the energy to like date multiple people at the same time? Even when I'm talking to one person, since I'm the type of okay. Do you play the game? The, ga the game. What's, what's the game? Where like you wait like a certain amount of time to like talk back with them. Okay. Like so hear me out i know what okay. you're saying but i don't consider it a game like every okay so i personally like replying whenever i see the message but there are Same. so many people that are like don't do that don't do that that's bad you look like you're like desperate or like too eager to reply you need to like yeah. play it cool and then reply after like maybe at mo like reply after like 10 minutes or something like that's the soonest you could do it but like i don't like doing that shit but literally every single fucking person i know has told me like don't like show like don't show eagerness i'm like what the oh. fuck like why wouldn't i not why would i not want to show eagerness i want to fucking date this person do you know what i mean i'm the person that like responds pretty much instantly and so like I feel like I know them a lot because I end up talking a lot with them. But yeah. like, it's also because I respond instantly and because I'm assuming they're interested to respond back. It just ends up being like us talking for like a lot throughout the day. So I can't imagine balancing two of those. I can't, I have no idea. Maybe if I was like, okay Damn, with responding Scarf. like a day later, it's like, I could do that. But like, it's like, no, I just respond like pretty quickly. I'm dude. I'm so envious. I think the last couple of people I've talked to, like, their messaging was like very sporadic, not like infrequent. Like, it's like I'm interested in this person, so I like I I like the idea of talking to them a like a lot. But like, there are times where I'm like left on red for like hours, like even like full days, and I'm just like, I don't know if this person is interested in me or not. I, I Probably give them the not. benefit. Of, I give them the benefit of the doubt because my brain is really bad. Where it's like it always seeks to undermine it's like no they don't like you like no you're not that interested, all that stuff it's like it's like something probably came up if it's like days and i'm like and you're you were you've been talking to them like literally daily then like they better just say something when it when it comes back like hey sorry something came up like sorry like this happened like i was really busy with this or like if nothing happened I, i'm not gonna lie i talked to someone and they just straight ghosted me for for three days. No, yeah, no, that literally or, happened or, to me. And like, I was just like, I don't know what to think. I'd like to think you're interested in me, I guess. But like being left on red for like two to three days feels really fucking bad. And then like when they resume the conversation and don't even address yeah, that they didn't message okay. back in several days, it's like, huh? So what, like what? I didn't, I didn't tell you this, but this happened with me. And it was like three or four days, okay? So they messaged me back and I was literally just like, and I'd be like, I was like waiting for something. I was like, so what happened? Like, like it didn't happen. And like, they were explaining it like, oh, I was worried. Like I was getting like too invested. And so like, I decided to take some time off and I'm like, Bitch, what, the, what fuck? the fuck? You could have just told me like, it's not a big deal. And I told her, I was just like, like, I'm not really interested in getting a relationship. But like, this is how you want to communicate. You're leaving a five-year relationship. You dump the other person, right? Hypothetically. How long, out of respect to the other party, would you not date anyone? Just hypothetically. I don't know if he knows that he's muted. I'm still muted? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I would say... <laughs> I I don't know. I find that like the idea of restricting your personal happiness for some period of time, like if you part amicably and you talk to them and you're just like, look, like I'm really into this person and like I know I should be longer. But, like I don't like setting strict guidelines. On it, you That's know? fair. That's for fair. me, it'd be like a month plus. But like I I've never been in that position, so it's just like a ballpark as a random fucking number that I'm never gonna need to use. That makes sense.